Welcome back to Mail My Cart. My name is Mickey, and today I received these in the mail, um, and it's a Sunday. <laughs> so cool to get mail on Sundays. Um, these are both Transon um, uh, watercolor uh, gouache uh, acrylic paint paint holders, basically. And this is really crinkly and loud. I should have opened this right away. But this one <clears throat> has a little. Um, thumb holder and it clamps closed and then pops off and this side is rubbery so you really don't have like palette mixing area but <clears throat> oop it's this this looks like a little scraper or something interesting looks like a little spoon or a scraper that you can pop out and use. It's kind of neat. It's got a very sharp end on this end and a little groove on this end. Hmm. So, and <clears throat> I'll figure out that what that is in a minute. So for Lattice's watercoloring paint box. Um, yeah, so this one was about, I got it for $12, $12.99, so it's about $13. And this one has the um, rubber lid, and it's really pretty flimsy. You see how rubbery it is. So this, this is one you would keep at home. So, ooh, it's really smelly too. And it comes with a little free brush, isn't that cute? So you see how that's not going to be useful on the go. But I, of course, you see these gouaches here. I needed something to keep my gouache in. I have been using, where is it? I've been using this for watercolor paints and I'm kicking myself because I could have used it for gouache. I do have holding the primaries here um, in gouache. These are the other primary that I'm using, which is cyan, primary yellow, and magenta. And this is like a cad red and yellow and an ultramarine. And this is better for mixing for me. Um, and I, I don't know, I just have over time developed in a new opinion about the primaries. And I believe that th this is more accurate and I can get a lot more range out of them. The ultramarine blue, just sort of makes um, kind of more muddy mixes or more muted mixes. So, yeah, sorry, that goes against anybody's opinion, but that's sort of what I'm finding. But I'm already noticing that this is probably going to be my favorite one. So this one I could use for pretty much anything. The lid doesn't stay on as secure as I would hope. It's kind of floppy, but there are little grooves in it and I can imagine keeping um, something fresh in here. I, I work with all mediums, so I could use acrylic and oil in this I also. And really, anything. You could use anything with this. It does seal, but I mean, I almost can shake it off. So, but I do like it. I will use it. But this is really cool. Hold on a second, and let me learn <clears throat> a little bit on the website about what this is. I'll be right back. Yep, these literally say nothing about that little um, palette knife, but I assume it's kind of to help you out. It's, it's got a little tool looking design. That's kind of neat, you know, a nice little addition. So I don't know, this is, this is my favorite. I'm not really sure how to hold it, <laughs> but there's a thumb holder. So, um, if you want to get one out of um, these two Transon, um, which which one would you get? I mean, I I almost assume you're already going to say this one, um, but looks like you can take this off and wash it. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's just sticking there by itself. That's so cool. Get this one. This one is really good. I'm getting. I got this for thirteen dollars, and I before I put any gouache in it. I'm going to wash it up because I wash everything I get off of the internet. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to show you these. Um, and I'm really excited about this one. 
and I, you know I'm still excited about this one because I have so much that I can do with it honestly I love palettes I, there's storage things are great and you get a wee little brush with it look at this little guy cut up to make up for its flimsy, flimsy lid maybe <laughs> it's not bad yeah good for some detail there it's nice the transcend art brush number three round super cool that's a nice one all right well thanks for joining me for this unboxing of cool things and um <clears throat> yeah this is the gouache i've been using um i do have other gouache and i just finished this and i i'm really excited with the whole gouache, gouache process gouache process and um i'm excited to try this medium i have used it for quite a while in the past and sort of revisiting it now and it seems like everybody else is too which is cool so i'm getting on the gouache train again so um if you have a storage question this is it this is your answer this is be this will be awesome for you so get the transom palette all right thanks for joining me we'll see you soon Hi, I'm back. So I want to recap on um, what I've done. I moved everything that out of my um, gouache palette into this and it was all dry. So I added water to them all and I took toothpicks and I moved them around and tried to stir them up and hopefully reconstitute them a little bit in order for them to stick. And then I added um, these tubes into here as well and added also um, some black from this which is a different black I think this is PBK 6 and I have this is PBK 7 Shink show. yeah 7 so let's see how they fared overnight it's been 24 hours and I wanted to see if they've dried out I'm sure they haven't because this thing is a rubber silicone thing so this is what they look like now and I think it's a success. I mean, as long as you aren't getting any kind of fungal microbes in here and then trapping them in there and growing stuff like a, an experiment, I think you're okay. Um, but I kind of wanted to poke them a little bit to see. Yeah, they're, they're definitely mushy and they've reconstituted. Oh, that's a good, that's good to know. Okay. so. All I had put in here was water. I had just taken water and I squeezed them in and um, pushed them around with a q -tip, uh, toothpick and um, I've tried to flatten them as much as I could because everything is so crumbling. And I think we're good. Um, this white even is more is moldable now. And this white is from this set, not this one. So these are all, let me see, I gotta get another <laughs> thing to push the, on these. These, these are still very, very wet. So I have a solution to my gouache issue. This is it. So there you have it. And these, um, these will probably raise in price now. But I got this for $12.99, and I'm hoping if you go run and grab it, it'll be the same price. <laughs> but yeah, this is great. So what do you think? I even started um, working on this last night. It's not finished, but it's just um, an all gouache um, portrait that I'm doing. And I just really wanted to use every single color that I have. <laughs> so. All right, well, thanks for joining me and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.